Hi there, this is Michael Becker. And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you a utility on the web that I really enjoy as I'm doing my research. It's a tool called Dijo, and I use it to annot annotate websites and PDF files, as well as to capture images. So let me go ahead and share my screen and show you what it looks like. All right, so here we have Dijo. And Dijo is a, uh, again, as I mentioned, it's a online um, utility uh, browser extension that can be used to collect notes and to annotate uh, websites and to organize those uh, annotations and notes and to share them with people. And uh, all you need to do is install the Dijo extension. Uh, here it is up on my browser right now. And then you can go to a website. Now, when you go to a website, what ends up happening is uh, you, you can see an article I have here, Mobile Marketing Statistics Compilation 2021, and you can go through and all you need to do is highlight some text. And you'll see this little uh, box will pop up and you can there's three things you're seeing here, an annotations area, a note taking area and a way to look things up and search for things in Google. So all I need to do is I can just say, what color do I want to annotate it with? Let's make it green. And I now create a green annotation. Now you see along the line, Dijo, I've also I've already pre-annotated this article. Uh, and you'll see that Dijo will tell me all of the different annotations I've made within the site. And I can scroll down and see them. If I want to change one, I can easily go ahead and do that. And I can make comments here as well. Here is a comment, um, something like um, the, the Ericsson report is really useful, for example. And hit save. Um, I can also save images. You'll see this little Dijo um, icon that pops up uh, when I hover over an image. I can go and tag or attach that image um, to uh, my annotations within an article. And you can just go through and read your article. Once you've done all of that, you can then open up the Dijo utility and hit edit. And when you're in the edit mode, you can go ahead and give yourself a description, a, a wonderful on mobile. Just click and fix my typo there. And then I can go ahead and put in some keywords like stats, um, mobile. Added, I've added those elements to the solution. I can also add uh, these elements to an outliner. So let's say uh, I want to add this one to my resources um, uh, outliner. And so that way I can have like, here are all the resources I have with the program. I can also go ahead and share it with a group. So for example, let's say I have a group here and I want to go ahead and share that with a group. So what I would do is I would invite group members and anybody that joined that group, as soon as I hit save, they're now going to receive uh, notifications of all of the things that I've highlighted within this note. Now, when I'm looking at this as well, I can go ahead and you know save this, read it later, uh, annotate and organize my notes. And I can also pop over to my Dijo database and you'll see here online that it's gonna show me all of the different notes that I've um, uh, annotated uh, for, my different, for the different research that, that I've done. You'll see that I've got 24 annotations on this file. Here are all of the annotations that I've taken and here are the images that I've grabbed as well. And so now I can pull these and pull them into any of my other uh, elements of research that I might be doing. So this is just a really, really great tool and utility uh, for doing that kind of first pass triage of uh, doing online research. And I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks.